What's up everyone? Today we have an experiment using yellow pea. What we're going to be doing is we have 300 grams of pea spread out per tray onto this burlap. We're going to be doing bottom watering with liquid kelp on this one and bottom watering with farmer's pride on this one. So I will get this put on the shelf behind me and give you a play by play for the next few days. It is day four of our yellow pea test, and today we are taking off our weight. Um, we've had that weight on for the whole process over the last four days, and everything is looking really great right now. We've got even germination on both of them. Um, so we're also gonna begin bottom watering these, and this one over here is gonna be our liquid kelp, and this one's gonna be our farmer's prod. So we're going to go ahead and add the nutrients and then get these put on the shelf and introduce them to light today. Hey everyone, it is day 10 of our yellow peas, which is also harvest day. Um, real quick, before we harvest these though, I want you to look down here and we're gonna go over the obvious differences. Uh, this one over here is kelp and this is farmer's pride. And you can already tell there is a huge difference in growth. Um, these ones over here are much, much taller than these over here on the kelp side. And also, it's just the growth over here is a lot more uniform, where over here, it's kind of long here, short there, and it just gets very weird all over the place. Um, so I guess let's move on now and figure out the weight on these. And we'll also do a test taste and see maybe if this kelp side is better tasting than the farmer's pride. You never know. So let's get on to that. All right, so the kelp pulled in 287 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bagged up and we are going to move on to the farmer's pride side. And then after that, we will do our taste test. Our farmer's pride side came in at 429 grams, which is 142 grams higher than our kelp side. Before we begin the taste test, I wanna move over here and talk about some of the things I noticed while harvesting these. Um, first, I noticed that the roots look awesome on both sides, but this side for the farmer's pride are a lot fuller than they are over on the kelp side. Um, and then another thing that I noticed was it just seems a lot tougher to get through this so i think we need to do a shorter growth cycle because i think that made them uh too fibrous because we we're doing this way we do our speckled pea <laughs> and also we finally got something to work on the burlap which we honestly don't 
think we needed the burlap. We're doing that in another test to see if we can grow on just the tray itself. Okay, so now that we have finished talking about these, let's move on to our taste test. I'm going to begin with the kelp ones. Let me get one for myself and one for camera guy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So those are definitely a little bitter and definitely fibrous as well, but they're not bad. I mean, they're just not, not as sweet as I was expecting them to be. So now let's try out the Thomas Brad. Does better growth mean it's going to taste better? Let's find out. much sweeter and definitely so fibrous like the other ones were but i enjoy the flavor a lot more on the farmer's pride one than i did with the kelp so let's do a quick recap our farmer's pride had a heavier weight by 142 grams more than the kelp not only that they had a more uniform growth and they also tasted a lot better so i'm going to dub the farmer's pride as the winner here and call kelp not so good. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a, a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Be honest. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please reach out to us. We love to answer these for you. Um, also, if you'd like to subscribe to us, that'd be freaking awesome. <laughs> we always love more subscribers. And if you want to follow us on our Instagram, it is at on the growth farms. Thank you guys for watching this and have a great day.